Bloomies are forever. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And we went back to the Somerset bins. Somerset bins? That's not what that's called. Where is it called? Well, Somerset was in Pennsylvania. We were not in Pennsylvania, so we didn't drive the whole way back to Pennsylvania. We did not go to Pennsylvania. We went to the Sarasota bin. Sarasota. Okay, we're starting over. Oh, man, we should leave that in there. Well, maybe I'll put it in the bloopers in the back. Okay. Okay. I wanted to make sure that we properly thanked everybody for 5,000 subscribers. And my sister was probably the most excited about it, and she wants to give away a t-shirt that says Bloomies are forever. Wow, that's really cool. Isn't that really cool? Thanks, so see. I'll put a screenshot here. And if you're interested, just comment below giveaway. You can say anything about the giveaway. Just make sure you have the word giveaway. And I'll leave the terms and conditions in the thing. It is international and um, we will pay for shipping to you. So thank you again. Hi everyone, I'm Melissa. I'm Bear. And we went to the Goodwill Sarasota bins. As opposed to the Northport bins. Yes, mm -hmm. which we went to the week before last. We went back to our hometown bins, which are about, what, like 15 minutes away. Yes, about 15 minutes away. And we did okay. And we've noticed that they've started to let people sit down. Woohoo! Big deal. That's so dumb anyways. I should let people sit. They're in there for hours and it's not new furniture, so... Yeah, yeah. people were sitting. We were shocked. Yes. I bought a cane with a seat on it, just in case. You know, speaking what? of that, yeah. we're going to start early with a bear story. Okay. <laughs> in my gig today, I saw a guy that had a cane. This is a great idea. had a cane okay. with a handle, but there was a flashlight built in it. Oh, that is a good How clever is that, right? Very clever. Yes. What else can you fit in a cane? A sword. A sword. <laughs> like, I mean, like a ninja. I meant something that was useful. A sword could be useful. <laughs> okay, so we spent, I have no idea. Where is the receipt? I'll, I'll put it at the end. Okay. So the Goodwill bins or the bargain barn as they're called here in Florida is by the pound. So linens are 99 cents a pound. Clothing is $1.99 a pound. And then they also weigh things like metal, electronics, toys, etc. And all of those have a per cents pound rate. Yeah, which we're we're not down with that at all. We're a little that's just a little ever bit. since they moved into the new building, yeah. They changed that and Northport wasn't that way. No, they were so. still like, here's everything yeah. for a quarter. Not that dramatic, but yeah. We tried to buy some books and they were little paperback books and they were gonna charge us 79 cents a book? And we were gonna buy like 50 something or 59 books. cents. No, there were 79. 70, 79 cents a book, yes. Yeah. yeah. Absurd. Yeah, so we put those back, but. Yeah. Okay, here's what we did find and did buy. Do you wanna start us out? Sure. This is the, well, what looks like an electric blanket uh, control, but this one in particular, I asked her if she wanted it because this is this was connected to a like a throw blanket. Mm -hmm. So I thought maybe you needed the whole blanket, but you said still it only mattered just to have the control. Yep, so. controllers. Is that what I'm called? <laughs> selling these blanket controllers since at least 2011 and I have my blog that dates back to those and they were selling then and they still sell so if the blankets in bad condition pull the controller and sell it so you're considering yourself somewhat of a blanket controller connoisseur I think I am well but you told them if the blankets in you never get the blanket no matter I never what condition get the blanket. It is, so it's at the bins it's hard to wash most blankets with wires in it yes and blankets are heavy so this usually brings about 10 15 dollars for the single mm -hmm. ones and a blanket with a controller might bring 20 to 30 it's just not worth it for me so unless you wanted the blanket for yourself yeah you probably Hold should on. just use the controller if you want to try to resell yeah mm -hmm. Next one. Next one. Uh, this is also a blanket controller. This is a Canon. Yeah, I've never seen one like this. 
Mm. It has an on off switch on the side. Yeah, oh, and, it does, and it doesn't have digital readout like that one does, nor does it have a timer. That one has a timer even. Yeah, oh, this one's fancy. Fancy, yeah. All right, but so. Now's the time. Winter's here. Get your blanket controllers out. Next, we bought fake apples. Well, not only apples. And pears. Yes. Fake apples and pears. Mm -hmm. I know my mom has successfully sold these, and I'll link my mom's Instagram below. She is a phenomenal seller. If you're not following her, she's incredible. But a lot of people stage their houses with this kind of thing, and these look fairly realistic. Yes. And okay. ironically, we have two pairs. Because there's four pairs, but that's only two pairs. You're right. So I'll probably put these in some kind of nice bowl and put them on a table and kind of like stage them myself, which will be fun for me. Yeah, they look really realistic. Some of them even have like little dents or little leaves attached. I don't know how much we paid for these, but well worth it. What you should not try to do is eat these. Now, I will, I will insert a story here already in, okay. in the festivities, early in the festivities. At a friend's house of mine back in Pennsylvania, they weren't always, I'm not going to mention any names, but they weren't always the neatest people. Okay, so you, I know who it is already. Yes, so, so, <laughs> so you didn't know what might be laying around. So in their bathroom one day, there was these little brown like fish and stuff, which I just assume was probably chocolate. So I picked it up and took a bite of it. It wasn't chocolate. What was it? It was soap. Soap. They had molded soap. <laughs> they had molded soap. I don't know why, <laughs> hearing this story again, I still don't know why you would think <laughs> something in the shape of anything in a bathroom wasn't soap. I, uh, well, I, I started the story by saying yes, that it's true. Okay, so it had been any other normal people's bathroom, <laughs> I would say, no, they wouldn't have chocolate in their bathroom. But this particular person's house, you never know what you might find where. So I thought, well, maybe it's just chocolate, hmm. but it wasn't. Sorry about that. It's okay. Good thing it wasn't poop. Oh, that's gross. Okay. Yeah. Next, blue ribbon. We unspooled it. We got it for packing. Moving on, a rhinestone seahorse. That is very cool. I didn't see that before. Oh, you didn't see the seahorse. Oh. He's a rhinestone guy. He's missing a rhinestone. I thought maybe we'll just put him on like the pool key if we could use him. If not, I'll send him to Tima, our nine-year-old niece. I know my people are going to wonder why I'm not jumping on the rhinestone cowboy reference, but I've already referenced that one time before. I know, in our last video. What, very last one? Yeah. Oh, really? Okay, well, we, it's only fair because we just lost Glenn Campbell not long ago. Too. Okay, also. how about a seahorse? Do you have any seahorse references? Seahorse. Hmm, I don't, but that reminds me of Secretariat. That was a famous racehorse. They made a movie about that. Oh. And, and Diane Lane was in it. Yes, I think I knew that movie. Yeah, I, I didn't watch the movie, but... Hmm, uh, Diane Lane, though. Yeah, but our friend has horses, but not racehorses. Yeah, she, she does very well with horses. Excellent, yes. Okay, next, we got some fun handmade papers and envelopes. Look how fun those are. Yeah, I didn't see a lot of this stuff. Oh, they're like, they have bumps on them too. They do. They're mm. really nicely made and there's like a set of six of them. So you're saying somebody made these? Yes. How did they get the bumps on them? I have no idea. Are you sure that these aren't manufactured? The packaging, which I threw out because okay. I don't want to pay for packaging, said they were handmade. Okay. I don't know. Well, I'm not. I'm not doubting you read that. It just doesn't look like something, you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't look like something. People similar. have like fabric paints. Okay. You know, puffy paint. Yes. You could puffy paint little circles on this and then paint them gold. I'm but, sure that's not what they did. But yeah, look how perfect they are though. And they're all exactly the same. Uh, they're all pretty much the same, right? I don't know. I'm yeah. glad you like them though. These are manufactured. No way somebody It said this. homemade. <laughs> I don't care. Look at they're perfect. The same patterns, the same everyone. So somebody, they might have be. They they had to have like a stamp or something. Possibly, maybe then, it was a stamp then, with embossing. Was, yeah. Okay, feel better now. You're not fooling me, man. <laughs> you're handmade. 
some Easter erasers. Our niece gets care packages every month. These will be in the March or April box, depending on when Easter is. Cute. Do you want to keep one of them? No. Okay. Thanks for offering them. You're welcome. What else do you have? Well, I, my girl said always pick up glasses. So we have some funky glasses. Ooh, these will be cool with one. Let's try these. You ones. must have brought me over what, 20 pairs of glasses? I suppose. They <laughs> look super dirty. <laughs> I like you in those. <laughs> these are old and these have some you kind of one. gold. Let me let me read the gold. There was some kind of gold in here. Real gold. Okay. Um, it is, I think it says 12 carat. Okay. 12 carat. All right. They're really dirty. They're really dirty, yes. How do I look though? You didn't say. Well, you always do the weird thing because your eyelashes. Oh yeah, my eyelashes. My girl's eyelashes, so she always puts glasses on like they're like, Tilt it up so they and they're not back the whole way. Yeah. These are like reading glasses here. Yeah, I think they are. Foster Grant. We have a few Foster Grants. And I don't know who makes these, but all of them seem very well made. Yeah. So we'll put those on. Yeah, good. Sometimes I can get five, ten, fifteen, twenty dollars a pair, just depending on the brand. Were you just showing that you could come in fives? No. <laughs> okay. Okay, my turn. Yes. This is a Vera scarf. Where's Vera's name? Do you see it there? Is that the same as Vera Bradley? It is not. Oh. And this one is a long scarf. I'm assuming it's silk and it has hand rolled edges. See how they're a little bit puffy? Yes. And they're not machine stitched. You can't really see where a machine... Yeah, well, I won't dispute that. So Here's... they're hand rolled. That usually means a better quality. And Vera is from, I think like the 60s, 70s, I might be wrong on that. But some of her pieces do really well. This scarf might only bring $10, but... Uh, that's just for decoration, right? Basically, it's not really to keep you warm, is it? No, it's probably more of a decorative piece. Okay. It would keep you a little warm, I guess. But that's not its intent. No. Okay. And I found one scarf. Did you keep the one I found? I don't think I did. What does it look like? I don't remember. I just remember you were picking up scarves and I found another one. I was like, here's another scarf. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't care. I just yeah, I, I think I put your scarf back. I, I don't care. Next scarf. You can hold it. Oh, that's a long one. I'm pretty, pretty sure this is Vera Bradley. There's no labels on it, but I know Vera Bradley prints well enough to believe that if I look it up, this will be a specific print and that won't be hard to do. And that one's longer just because some of yeah. them are different lengths than others. Yeah, some people wear them um, a whole bunch of different ways. I mean, you can really style them like all sorts of different ways and basket weaves and, you know, not just the around. Okay, yeah. yeah. I, nobody hit me to the scarf. You, you put it on. How, how would you put on the scarf? <laughs> I guess. Okay. That's good. How about if you wanted to throw it up over your shoulder? Well, I could do that, but... You look pretty good in that. This is, that's a European thing, right? Because I could be a European guy, they wear scarves, don't they? they I think most people wear scarves that are cold. I don't no, but again, this is European not, this scarf. is not, no, this is not to keep you warm. This is a decorative thing, so... This is a little bit more warm. Though European so men I... would wear your, uh, a scarf, right? Is that Sure. True? I'm sure European that men wear a little scarf. No, no, I have no Okay, all right. I haven't been to Europe that often. Oh, me either. But... Okay, next scarf has a little button. Look how pretty this is. <laughs> right? Well, it's okay, yeah, I mean. It's got different colors and prints and it has a very like natural organic print to it. It's a non-print print. And then show. I don't know what that means. A like it's got a print. Oh uh, yes. Okay. But it's not like polka dots where there'd be a dot, a dot, a dot. You or mean, you floral. Mean, you mean like the handmade cards? Yes. <laughs> okay. I know you're teasing me. But there's a print, but it's not a specific print. Okay. And then there's this. Mm-hmm. And I think, I think, 
I haven't looked this up yet, that when you're wearing this, you can kind of like put this here to close it. Yes, I would agree. Right? Yes. That's a handy little thing. And this is marked either 09 or 60. I don't know. I'll do some research, but I really liked this one. Okay. Next. Okay, I found these. They just looked like really well-made shoes. And then you looked them up. I did look them up, but I forget what it was now. Well, say the brand name so everybody is going to go, ooh. Oh. Ararat. Is that how you say that? I have no idea how you say that it. That sounds like where the Noah, Noah landed with his ark on Mount Ararat. It was something like something that. Something like that. Yeah. Okay. It's A-R-I-A-T. And these are really well made. I'm thinking Noah could have used these boots on the ark because there's <laughs> lots of, speaking of, you know, you know, waste products, there would be a lot of that. But, in, but the bright side is you could just throw it overboard. You could. Because, you know. Yeah. This has advanced cushioning and they're a size 7.5. So this is a woman's size 7.5 because it's a European 38. So it, these wouldn't fit me, for It's instance. advanced cushioning. That's what it says. Okay. These are pricey boots. I bet you these cost over 150 new. Okay. Well, they, they, they look, look well made. Yeah, well made, and they don't look like trash. <laughs> okay, well, I'm glad I picked up the non-trash boots. Yeah, I'm, I'm glad too. Okay. And the next item from me is this brass belt buckle with suede. It looks like an old style suede. Doesn't it look like, I don't know, the 50s or 60s maybe? Yeah, I guess so. I and it has markings. Okay. I was able to find out what the markings said. Oh good. What's so the it says accurate and then there's some numbers and it is brass. Fair had guessed it was brass. So you're sure that you have the accurate markings? Uh, sure am. Okay. And not only that, but it's a lion. It is a lion. Okay, and my high school mascot was a, a lion. It was. You know, United Lions. Yep. Ooh. Go Lions. Yeah. Now you can have a belt buckle. Do you want this? Nope. Okay. <laughs> Couple little metal things. They put all of the metal in the same section. And this is Judith Lieber from Neiman Marcus. Judith Lieber makes high end purses and accessories. This looks like a tiny little purse, but it's actually a pill keeper. Oh. You put pills in there. Oh. I mean, you could do anything with it, but it's really pretty. It's got butterflies. I'll insert a photo. Maybe it's bringing maybe $15, 20 No kidding. Yeah. Uh, wow. Okay. I wasn't realizing people were still interested in pill holders. Oh, sure. People collect them too. Oh, okay. It's not like, oh, I need to carry something to carry my pills and they really they actually... Right, maybe. I keep mine in a plastic bag. Okay, but we have we have a friend that collects, what does she collect? Toothpick holders. Toothpick holders. Okay, so she's not collecting toothpick holders, so she has a place to put all of her toothpicks. It would be a lot of toothpicks. Right. So that's she's what got I'm, hundreds of them. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So people collect things like Possibly. that. Possibly. Yeah. Not necessarily because they need a pill holder. Yeah. Okay. And then this just caught my attention, and sometimes I use Jaws clips to keep my hair back. It looks like a feather with a feather on top. It looks metal. I, I don't know. I might get four ninety nine for it. Okay. It's not marked. Is it like sterling? You think? No, I don't think it is. What do you think it is then? What's less than sterling? Uh, I guess it could be some kind of cast stuff, but okay. Cast. Looks, looks like sterling to me. It looks like it, but it's definitely not heavy enough for it, and there's no markings on it. So it would have markings of the sterling? Oh yeah. 99% mm, of the time it's going to. Okay. What do you got? Mm. This you picked up for our little six-year-old neighbor. Yes. It is a sand mold castle. Yes. And I currently moved some of his little sand accoutrements because I added to our sand outside now. I did. suppose I have to put them back because I wonder where they are, I suppose. So Baron added how many things of sand? Well, I literally carried one ton, about a, about a ton of sand, a uh, five gallon bucket at a time. I put, if you fill up a five gallon bucket of sand, it's around 70, 75 pounds. So I fill them up so I carry two at a time. 
and I unloaded them in my van, put them in bins, the bins we have, and a bin will hold three five-gallon buckets. So I had eight bins, so I had 24 buckets, and then I had three other bucks of 27, and I, I figured out it's around 2,000 pounds, which is a ton. Then I brought it home and shoveled it all into our place outside so it looks nice. Yes. Mm -hmm. It does look really yeah. nice. Plus, with the fresh sands, I'm sure nice. this will be a fun thing for Jason to make sand cats. None of which I have to do, by the way. No, we have landscapers <laughs> to take care of this <laughs> but, stuff. But they don't do it because it was dirt. And well, the, they they will rake the dirt. They will blow the leaves. They do a good job. I'm not saying they they're don't not do going to bring in two ton of sand. No, but the deal is they're those are supposed to have mulch in them. Mulch, yes. Yes, but they've not put mulch in them. Well, they have sand in them now. So no, be... mine is the only place in the entire place that yes. has sand in. Every place else is just dirt. It's true. We're special. <laughs> You're very special. <laughs> okay, keep going. Okay, well these are more hair hickeys. Yeah, you found or... these. No, I didn't. Really? Yeah, I did not find these. Oh, I found these. These are for rollers. Oh, these are not just to hold your hair? Not necessarily. So you put a roller in there and then do that so you mm -hmm. can curl your hair. Okay. Yeah, I might keep those. I just ordered a set of rollers. You did? I did. What, why? Because my hair's getting to the point where it's getting a little... I haven't had a professional haircut in over four and a half years. I haven't had a professional haircut in how long? Oh my goodness. Since 2004, I think. 2004. My girl used to cut it. I did. And now since I went for the Florida cut, I just do it myself in you the just shower. just shake your head. Yeah, every, I have clippers every couple days. I just yeah. go over it. Yeah. So, you but know. I let mine grow and then donate it and grow and donate it. So while I was sick, even though I haven't necessarily like been healed from that sickness, right. I am doing much better and I could really use a professional haircut. I'm noticing as my hair is growing, it's very crooked. So I keep putting it up, which suits me just fine. But I thought the rollers might help with some of that crookedness. Okay. Well, we like the growing part. We're, we're not fond of the cutting part. I'm sorry. That's okay. I know you don't. <laughs> okay, next item. I'll go through a little quicker. Okay. Vintage Victoria's Secret nylons. Sometimes this Victoria's Secret nylon... Um, Victoria's Secret vintage nylons. And sometimes these Victoria's Secret vintage pieces do pretty well. So you're just going to try to sell them like that? I am. I'm okay. going to try to sell them like that. All right. I found two other pairs of stockings, which I will give my special love to. That sounded really creepy. <laughs> I just roughed them up. We found a Life is Good hat. Oh, I think I should try that on. Okay. Right. I didn't spray it yet. Okay. What do you think? I think it's too tight on you. Okay. Do you want to make it loose? He has a Santa hat on. So even though it's past Christmas, I still usually pick up Life is Good items if they're fairly cheap. Oh. Oh. Oh, I see. It has a little snap on it. Okay. It has a little snap on it. I was really, I was scared there for a second because I thought you I thought broke it. You thought you broke it. That's okay. Yes. You wouldn't have been in trouble. Well, I'd have felt bad though. For breaking the bin hat? Yes, I would have felt bad for breaking the bin hat. Is that any better? It is. Your head... Your head is shaped in such a way that it doesn't puff out this part. Okay, you were saying my head isn't shaped the way that it puffs out, but yeah. I just pulled it down further now it puffs yeah, out. Yeah, it looks good. Do you need a hat? No. Okay. <laughs> so the Life is Good guy has a Santa hat on. Okay. Draw, the drawstring. Drinking straw eyeglasses. New in the thing, and I opened them to make sure they actually had the thing in it. Good job. Oh, go me. So my niece will get this. It just looks like a fun thing. Should I try those on? No. Nope. Okay. They're new in the box. Oh, okay. They retailed for $7.99. I'm sure I paid like 10 cents for them. They're really light. Two magnetic shopping lists. Oh. Good package toppers or care package things to including care packages. Mm. Yeah, currently we use Alexa. We do use Alexa. We're whispering because she'll think we're talking to her. I know. And we say things like, put strawberries on our shopping list. Strawberries added to your shopping list. 
And, and we also say things like, turn off Lenny. Turn on Lenny. Oh, we're living in the future. Right. But a lot of people, especially people um, that need care packages that are in bed or needing to feel well, a to-do list, not even a to-do list, just paper and a pen is always good to have. The next item are a bunch of vintage Dr. Seuss books. Do you want to hold them up? Sure. One of them is from the 50s, two of them are from the 60s, and one from the 70s. I don't know what these will bring, but children's books are 39 cents. But these are hardback, so they were more, right? They were 39 cents. So the paperback ones were 79, these were 39. <laughs> yes. Come That's why I was trying to get him, because we were buying over 50 books. Yeah. I was trying to get, get him to give us the children's rate, because they were kind of like young adult-ish, but no, no go. Well, I just flat out asked him, I'm like, yeah, hey, did. I'm like, hey buddy, can't you do like a bulk price in it? So he went and asked some lady, and some lady said no. That was Mary. Mary said no. Yeah. She, Mary's, Mary. Mary's pretty awesome. Okay. Not in that particular case. Who remembers New Kids on the Block? I do. This is the older shirt. This is from when they um, came back on tour. So this isn't the original New Kids on the Block shirt. This mm -hmm. is probably made, I'm going to say, the last few years. I wonder if there's a date on it. There's no date on it. But you can tell the men have aged. Okay, well, who, first of all, yes. is this the New Kids on the Block? Is that the Wahlbergs were in that? Is that who was in yeah. the, the Wahlbergs? So Mark, Danny, uh, Mark. Mark, well, both of them were at one point, right? I don't know. Okay. I know Joey. <laughs> He's a Capricorn. So I, I was really into the New Kids on the I, Block. I, 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 <laughs> so can you name a New Kids on the Block song? Oh my goodness, can I? Yes, please do. Hanging Tough. Great. You have any more than that? Oh, probably. I, I could probably name a whole bunch. Now you're going to make me embarrassed. No, come on. Come on. I want you to name because because I'm out for this one. I, you know, I, I don't think my peeps will be <laughs> surprised to learn I was not a new kids on the block fan. I was such a new kids. We begged my mom, to, one of my friends, um, Kimberly, which was also a very 80s name, had the new kids on the block comforter and the sheets and the wallpaper and I begged my mom and of course my mom was having none of it because my mom's more stylish than that. Sorry, well people will tell us they're new kids. Okay, stores. I'm sure, yeah, new kids on the block. They were very popular in, I'm gonna say the late 80s, early 90s. Yeah, yeah, I'd say so. Right? Mm -hmm. And then they came back out. So, t-shirt. Was, did you say hanging tough? Is that what you said? I think so. I think okay. that was one of the Yeah, I think that was one of the songs. This is for um, my hair dryer. No. Yeah. So you can put your hair dryer away even if it's... Oh, don't, won't, won't have to worry about burning it. Yeah. Yeah. I have a very old school hair dryer. I'll try to take a picture of it. It was your father's. The one with the comb on it. Yeah. It, it's this like, yes. so I've been using that. I don't dry my hair very often, no. but when I do, it'll be in here. But tell the story about what dad wanted you to do when he wanted you to get something. Oh, when we put his father at the retirement community, which was one of the most gorgeous retirement communities I've ever seen, honestly. It was just beautiful. He got to liking it and he asked me to pick up a special shampoo for his white hair. But why though? Why? Because the nurses were showering him <laughs> and people were commenting on his hair. Yeah. So yeah. I went out and bought purple shampoo is what works well on white hair. It was twenty dollars a bottle. But he he got so many compliments and he felt so loved by that staff. He felt like like a star, I think, a little bit. Well, the big thing was he he was really he didn't want to go there. I don't blame him. But, he built but the he got, house in which he. But did. he got so we bad that it. I just couldn't. We you couldn't. Know, I couldn't be there 24 hours a day. So he went there and he was mad for being there. But what happened is he he had a episode where he got really sick and they had to take him to the hospital. Well, he he came out of the hospital, but he went to the rehab portion of of the place. Yeah. And that was like, you know, it was just like a hospital. It was nice and everything, but it was just like a hospital. So he couldn't wait to get he out of there. He had a roommate. He, he had, had, yeah, had a roommate and stuff, which he didn't have. 
So when he got out of there, he was really thankful to be there. And then not only that, but everybody was like, oh, Dino! Dino! He'd he walk in. Clap. Yeah, they were so excited to see him. So then that, that's what really, you know, made it turn for him. Yeah. He was, he was, he was like a star there. He really yeah. was. People yeah. treated him so well. And then when he passed, the one dude was like so broken up about it. We were, you know, I felt bad for the guy. He was like sitting there. He was literally weeping. I was like, oh, I loved your dad. I'm sorry. And we are like, I know. I felt bad for him. And that guy got his electric chair. And yeah. some of the yeah. other things. Some of the other stuff. We yeah. passed along his furniture. Uh -huh. Okay. Thing are two tins, one featuring the queen, early queen, early queen, the queen, um, and one featuring some kind of historic. Well, that's yeah, thing. that's gonna be an Eng England thing too, probably, right? And somebody painted the front white, and I just wiped off some of the paint, and there is something underneath. Mm -hmm. But the cool part is the castle, anyway. Okay. So I might be able to get fifteen dollars out of these, maybe. Two books for my niece. Both of them are sticker books, and both of them have the original stickers, which I am shocked. Oh, yeah. Like, it's not often you find sticker books that have the stickers. Mm -hmm. So, these were each 39 cents, and she will have a blast with these. Okay, great. Next, this was originally $15.99. Do you know what it is? Uh, says, well, I'm going to say it's some sort of magnetic mailbox cover, maybe. <laughs> you saw what it was. Oh, is that what it is? Whoa! That was pretty good. It's a cheat. That's what no. it was. Okay. It's a magnetic mailbox cover. Wow. I know. And it's just a magnet that you kind of pop on your mailbox. And when I bought this, I was thinking we would do this for our mailbox. <laughs> And then I realized we don't have a mailbox. Well, we have a mailbox, but it's like a community mailbox. They're all squares. Yes. So yes. this will not fit our mailbox. And I hate getting the mail, by the way, because our mailbox is down low. Poor six, bear. Six, I'm always like... Trying to I tell them to leave it, but you still come in with the mail. You love me. Yes. Is this the last item? No. Show your item next. Oh, okay. Your item is pretty exciting. Okay, this is a Fisher-Price music box record player. Mm -hmm. Little vintage thing. It isn't vintage. Oh, it's not it's vintage? It's the remake of it. Oh, it's the remake of it. Yes. And it even has some discs in the back. So we, we didn't even try to play this. We didn't. Can you take it out? And I'll, I'll make a lot of noise. Can you take them out and let's see if they work. I don't, I don't think Fat Guy in a Little Coat can. Oh, there's a reference for you. You know, Tommy Boy, he knows the Fat Guy in a Little Coat. That's how I feel because I'm so large. I, I don't think you're supposed to put this many records in. I got them. Got one. All right. Okay, so now we need a screwdriver. I'll loosen this stuff. There we go. Got <laughs> Whoa, those are definitely bigger batteries. and I saw it before 2015 I think 2010 wow so that's pretty... it's so beloved they made another version that's awesome oh, I appreciate using the term beloved sure mm -hmm. and only put maybe four back in there so we can get them out easier about three perfect oh we have two more items go ahead you want to do yours well I didn't find this you did but it's... I found this you looked it up though yes it's a uh, kind of jack I know it's Columbia camel. It's a Columbia camo jacket. Yep. But it's and not, these, is it vintage? I think it is vintage, oh. yeah. Okay. Yeah, definitely vintage. It has Gore-Tex. Gore-Tex. Gore -Tex. Yeah, that's why. And thin slit. Oh, thin slit as well. Okay, that's good. Yeah. And look, in the pockets, it mm -hmm. has like all these little... You know what those are for? Pen holders. Those <laughs> <laughs> aren't pen holders. Pen holders? Lipstick yeah. holders. No. What are they? They're shotgun shell holders. Shotgun. It's for hunters. Yeah. And you can just put one bullet in each? Yes. It's just one bullet? 
Well, uh, yes, that's uh, that's the size of shotgun shell. That that's probably a 12 gauge shotgun so, shotgun shell. Hmm. There's different. Bear grew up on a farm. <laughs> well, I grew up hunting, so <laughs> yes. Yeah, it's in pretty decent condition. It's got it's used definitely, but I bet you it brings 50 or 60 bucks. Okay. I had a Columbia ski jacket once, a blue one, it was really cool. Do you want to tell us what happened to it? I don't know what happened to it. Oh, I don't know what happened to it. Oh, okay. I thought it was going to turn into a story. Well, I just... You I, lost it! Well, we probably got rid of it because I probably don't need it. Oh, I mean, I don't need it here in Florida, but you you remember that jacket, don't you? I do. Okay. Okay, what else are we doing? Last item. What is the last item? It's this right here. Oh, okay. Did you find out what that is? I think I did. Okay. It is a cutting board, okay. obviously, All right. and it's marked something bamboo, and it's in the shape of, I think it's New Jersey. New Jersey? I think so. I think they make... <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> that seems like an unlikely state to have a cutting no, board shape. No, I think all the states have a cutting board. Here, oh. let me get my phone. Okay. And you can hold it up while I get my phone. Okay. And I downloaded a list of the shapes. Name me a band from Jersey. Oh my goodness. A band from Jersey. Billy Joel. Do you that think... That was Long Island. I don't yeah, know. Yeah, okay. No, I don't know any bands from New Jersey. Well, you'll know when I say. Okay, what is it? Well, Bruce Springsteen, number one, is from New Jersey. Okay. And he has a show on Netflix now, Springsteen on Broadway. Really? Yes, and I have a friend in Ohio that's a huge Springsteen fan. I was never a Springsteen fan, sorry, but whatever. Also from New Jersey. Okay. Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. Isn't that who I just said? You said Billy Joel. Oh, Billy Joel. Okay. They sound similar. Okay. And also from New Jersey, this is going to be this is going to be a stretch for a lot of people. Okay. John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band. Now I'm going to give you a second to think of who John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band is. <laughs> okay. Okay. What's so funny? <laughs> okay, they're either going to know or not know. Well, not necessarily, because they're going to know songs that John Cafferty and the Beaver Brown Band did, but they're not okay. going to... I think some this is New Jersey, by the way. Some people are not this going to know. This is New Jersey. Quit interrupting my story, man. But look, just say, this this is definitely New Jersey. Now you had it right before. Well, okay, but... It goes oh. like, like this. Oh, okay. See? Yes, this is definitely New Jersey. Okay. New Jersey, okay. Back to John Cafferty and Beaver Brown Band. If I told you... There's a band out there named Eddie and the Cruisers. Yes. They're not. That's a movie. John oh, Cafferty yeah. and the Beaver Brown Band did all the music for Eddie and the Cruisers. Really? Yes. Yeah, so on the dark side, that's all John Cafferty and Beaver Brown Band. Hmm. I loved that story. And it's so it's weird because just the other night I had, in fact, the last time I walked, okay. I had a, had a hankering for some Eddie the Cruiser songs. Okay. So I went on Pandora and did John Caffrey and the Beaver Brown Band and listened to a few like uh, Eddie the Cruiser songs. Way to go! That that is not worthy of a high five. I'm well, just... I thought it was. Okay. No. So altogether with tax, it was thirty dollars and forty one cents, and we should be able to easily make that back with just the jacket. Okay. So I had a great day. Good. And you had a good day. Well, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, as good as the bins get. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So what's our, what's our? Are we gonna go? To, we're gonna go to another bin sometime, right? We are. So I have everything else in the house listed, which is amazing for me. I've had some really good days in a row, and I just feel like I get so much more done when I don't hurt. Um, well, yeah. Yeah. Duh. And so all of this stuff needs listed, but I've taken photos of most of it. So. By next week, as long as I start to feel um, the same, as long as I feel the same, I could imagine this stuff would be listed. <coughs> You're allergic to our stuff. So where do you want to go next time? Well, you said that you have a credit for coupon. Some, a coupon for something at IKEA. Yeah, fifteen dollars off. And, and you can get food for free or something free for your birthday. Mm -hmm. Which I'll give to you. Okay, but I how much free cards. food can you have? I Just mean, one meal, I One think. meal. Oh, okay. Any meal? I don't know. Okay, well, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Anyways, okay, yes. So, but the only IKEA store near us is Tampa, Tampa. which is like an hour away or so. So you'd have to have yeah. a pretty good day. To I'd have to have a really good day and have to medication that. to back it up. Well, yeah. I mean, yeah. you can never get through any day without medication. Sure. So. Okay. 
So, so well, maybe so we'll do that next week. Maybe. Maybe we'll do that next week. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. What are we doing now? We're putting out our hands. We are saying bloomies on three. And we're saying we hope your day is blooming. Nice. Very good. How many times have we done it? You suppose? Like 402. Okay. I don't know. Okay. Bloomies on three. Ready? One, two, three. Bloomies. bloomies. We, we hope, hope your day, day is blooming, blooming with joy. Bye. Bye. We hope your day is blooming with joy.